So hello you guys, my name is Caleb. A lot of people don't know this about me, but I'm like really really creative. Like I love doing art and I love drawing and painting and stuff. Like that's a big passion of mine. I have a bookish passion and I have an art passion. How can we mix these together to make bookish art? So I went on Pinterest and I found all these like really beautiful, really cool art things. So today I'm going to be showing you a wide variety of different things you can do with your books to make them all the more gorgeous and make beautiful bookish art. So let's begin. The first thing we're going to be doing today is homemade bookmarks. The first thing you're going to need is the book that you are currently reading. Wait, who the frick is this? Gabby Adams, this is not your book anymore. This belongs to me. Anyway, so you're just going to fold in the top corner and you have your own little bookmark. The second thing you can do if you want a homemade bookmark is grab some paint and get a big splatter right on the page you're currently on. So then you just open up to the page and you get your own little design of the paint splatter and it's really beautiful and it makes your books really unique and it's very beautiful and effective. The second thing we're going to be doing today is black out poetry. Just grab one of your favorite books of all time, grab a sharpie, and go to whatever page you can and find words that really, really make a beautiful poetry sentence. Just black out the words you don't need for your poem and you can make something entirely new out of one of your favorite books already. The quote I did was, I need help, because that really symbolized what I was going through while reading this book. Here's another example, just in case you need more inspiration. For this one, I did, I can't do this, I can't read anymore, because that really symbolizes how this book went. The next art piece we're going to be doing today is defacing your books, drawing pictures, doing cool designs, or writing your favorite quotes on your book. What I'm going to be doing today is taking one of my favorite scenes from November 9, in which the love interest thinks about throwing the main character onto the pavement and holding her down so she can't catch her car. It's a really important scene in their love life because it shows that he's willing to go to jail and commit a felon just to get her. It's adorable. The next thing we're going to be doing is folding pages. I'm sure you've all seen the gorgeous art all over Pinterest of folding your pages. You're just gonna fold in the pages to make it look like that and you're gonna keep going throughout all the pages in this book and making it look just like a heart. And then slowly you'll see that you've made yourself a gorgeous heart out of all the pages. The next thing we're gonna be doing is staining your book pages. In this day and age, stained pages are all the rage. Books like Crooked Kingdom and Six of Crows have gorgeous pages that you just can't help but pick up. But not all books have this. So you're going to grab one of your favorite books, lay out some paper towels, and you're going to stain the pages yourself. All you're going to need is a paintbrush and whatever paint you can find. Oh, me after Taco Bell, am I right? Slowly spread it over the pages and do whatever you can to make it look as beautiful as possible. Well, this paint freaking sucks and doesn't even work. So we're going to get some beautiful red paint and we're going to paint the sides even more. Your friends are going to be absolutely jealous when they see all this beautiful stained pages. Is this Crooked Kingdom or is this the book you painted yourself? The next thing you can do if you have some downtime is write one of your favorite quotes from this book on the cover. So then when you take off the dust jacket, you see this beautiful homemade art piece with a beautiful quote on top of it. This quote isn't even from this book, but it's just such a great quote. Wow, so beautiful. I know. I just sat here and edited the entire thing, so well, I know what you're feeling. I feel the same thing as you do. I don't know. I was in a big troll mood today. I just wanted to make a funny video and troll everybody, and here we are. So that's the video for today. I hope you enjoyed it. I promise you no books were harmed in the making of this video. The one that I painted all over was already falling apart, and there's already really, really weird Sharpie written all over it from some kid that owned it before me. So it was already in pretty crap condition, so I felt like donating it would be weird anyway because it's got crappy writing all over it, and I really didn't want, like, someone to get fooled into buying something like that. So that's why I painted on that one. I hope you're okay with it. I plan on throwing it out anyway. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you in my next one. Goodbye! <laughs>